If you can't beat the hackers, join them, or rather get them to join you. Bill Whitaker tells us about the latest national security recruiting drive. The 19th annual DEF CON in Las Vegas, a convention of free spirits, free thinkers, geeks, and hackers like Mar. I think hacker mindset is tinkering with stuff anywhere from hardware to software. Recently, DEF CON has drawn more and more unlikely conventioneers, clean-cut, button-down representatives of the U.S. government. I'm with uh, NASA's Computer Crime Division. Army CID's Digital Forensics and Research Branch. DOD, NSA, DHS, and alphabet soup of federal agencies. If there's uh, folks with uh, wild red hair that uh, have skills and have an interest and a, uh, a wherewithal to be a federal agent, then uh, uh, those kind of folks we want to reach. CBS News got these first ever pictures inside the top secret National Security Agency's Cyber Command, the hub for defending against computer attacks. Deputy Defense Secretary William Lynn told our David Martin cyber attackers are finding the U.S. with its defenses down. The technology uh, for intrusions is far ahead of the technology for defenses, and we need to catch up. Unidentified cyber attackers penetrated Pentagon firewalls this year and stole plans for the war in Afghanistan, designs for satellites, drones, and a top secret next generation fighter plane. Top computer security firm McAfee reported this week it had found hackers rummaging through computers of 70 corporations and organizations, including the U.S. Department of Energy, the International Olympic Committee, the United Nations. The loss of trade secrets to hackers costs U.S. companies as much as $20 billion a year. The loss of government secrets to cyber espionage, incalculable. Protecting information, uh, securing information is... is is, is crucial. That's a national security issue, actually. So the federal agencies are here, seeking the next generation of national defenders, cyber warriors. The government can't solve this problem by itself. Tony Sager is with the National Security Agency. There is no end state of security. So it's, a, it's constant learning. That's part, part of what makes it exciting, but also challenging. Look around. This is what the fighting force of the future looks like. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Las Vegas.